Welcome to the first ever open world Star Wars game. Set in the dangerous golden age of the underworld. Let's raise the stakes, shall we? Okay. You play as Kay Vess, a scoundrel looking to start a new life. Kay gets pulled into a plan that will change everything. I believe if you follow the plan, no one gets hurt. Fortunately, she won't do it alone. From childhood, Kay and Nyx have been inseparable partners. You're welcome. Helping each other every step of the way. All right, distract him, Nyx. Using their criminal skills and tools. <laughs> Kay and Nyx will have to constantly adapt to every scenario. Nyx, you want to drop that for me? Come on, come on. Whoa. If you don't want me to sound the alarm, you'll get me out of here. As your versatility grows, gain access to new skills and more lucrative contracts. There she is. A friend needs a little something stolen. And in this world, your actions have consequences. I can't let you walk out of here. I'm gonna finish it. Shame. And reputation is everything. Where is he? The bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. And more attention you'll receive from some of the most notorious syndicates of the galaxy. And how did you think it was going to end? Tell the governor the payments will not increase. It's up to you where your loyalties lie. Hey, Nick! Being wanted by the Empire brings a new set of challenges. This is getting bad. All right! So as your exploits grow, beware of who you cross. Hang on! Scattered across the stars are unique locations, rich biomes, environments, and adventures to discover. Traverse the lush jungle world of Akiva, the ancient city of Kajimi, the dangerous savanna moon of Tashara, or roam the lawless planet of Tatooine. When it's time to move, Pilot K's trailblazer to transition from planet to planet. MD, fire up the hyperdrive. Ready to jump. Once you land, you can explore all these worlds on K's S57 Cardinal Speeder. <laughs> this is the life of an outlaw, a life where you fight, explore, and infiltrate parts of the galaxy you never thought possible. There are opportunities at every turn, and if you're willing to take the risk and defy the odds, the galaxy is yours for the taking. Hello everyone, I am John Burling, Associate Narrative Director on Star Wars Outlaws, and I'm here to break down the lore, references, and any other Star Wars details you may have missed in our latest gameplay walkthrough. Hey, new record! Kay is a fan of arcade games and has been playing this Raven 6 space shooter for years. You can find it and other games scattered throughout the galaxy. Kay grew up around cantinas and learned from an early age that they're both places to lie low and to find new opportunities. As Kay travels throughout the galaxy, it's always a good idea to head to the local cantina when looking for intel or work. Kowakian monkey lizards can be found everywhere in the Outer Rim, and they're used as pets, thieves, and even food. But few are as privileged as Salacious B. Crumb in Jabba's palace. Many merchants will use protocol droids to handle customers from every corner of the galaxy who don't speak basic or Hatiz. 
Kay can bypass the droids since she's fluent in Hatties, and she can use this to talk her way out of or directly into some tense situations. The Trailblazer is an EML 850 light freighter from the Clone Wars. Its reinforced hull was built to ensure safe transport into any kind of environment. But the high material costs ruined its chances for mass production. The ship is a rare prototype from a bygone era that had a life of its own before ending up in Kay's hands. Hey, Andy. Hi, Kay. Akiva space. Akiva is an outer rim planet that the Empire controls via the local government. Normally, the Empire doesn't have a presence there, but like with many other remote worlds, they carry out occasional audits with support from the Imperial military. This is Kay Vess on board the Trailblazer. I'm coming to help. Akiva is orbited by an asteroid field made up of the remains of a comet called Kinro. Legend has it that several Jedi banded together and used the Force to tear it apart. But most people think that's just a myth. Traveling in the Outer Rim is dangerous, and spacers, smugglers, and syndicate freighters are all at risk of being attacked by pirates. Most pirates are part of local gangs that operate in a specific sector, and they usually only care if a mark looks valuable or not. Pirate ships, like the Scourge and Junkross, are cheap and expendable. Pirates typically steal whatever they can get their hands on, and they often rely on scare tactics and aggression to get their score. The Pike Syndicate has shipping lanes across the Outer Rim, making their freighters hot targets for pirates and rival syndicates. Due to Kay helping defend this ship, she has improved her reputation with the Pikes and their underboss, Gorak. Spooling up the hyperdrive. Growing up in the workers' district of Cantabite, Kay always dreamed of being able to get off-world and travel the galaxy. After taking the Trailblazer and honing her piloting skills, she's finally able to jump across the galaxy in search of the freedom she's always wanted for her and Nyx. Kay is entering the legendary Moss Isley on Tatooine, but this planet is large with more than one settlement for you to discover. It's been a privilege to recreate iconic locations such as Chalman's Cantina, while also expanding on the world with locations that are completely new. Room for one more? Here we see Kay about to engage in a game of Kessel Sabak, which is her favorite card game in the galaxy. To win, Kay will need to keep an eye out for cheaters, or maybe even cheat herself. Tatooine is the home of Jabba the Hutt, and after the Hutt cartel faced the surprising loss of their council, Jabba is at the height of his power in the criminal underworld. Following the destruction of the Death Star, the Empire has increased their presence on Tatooine, but everybody knows it's Jabba's domain. The other syndicates stick to the shadows. K-Speeder is an S57 Cardinal, a multi-terrain speeder bike that's perfect for explorers. This speeder is both reliable and moddable, and Kay can call it from afar using a control module to give her and Nyx a chance to rest their feet. Imperial shuttles are a dead giveaway that there's some Imperial activity nearby. Sometimes that might add further risk, but in other cases it can be a great opportunity for a scoundrel. Some Jawas on Tatooine travel around in sand crawlers, offering trade deals for whoever happens to be nearby. The sand crawlers were originally built for mining operations, but were co-opted by the Jawas as a way to hold and transport salvage. These flyhorn lizards can be found all around Tatooine's deserts. The lizards use their tails and horns to catch condensation and smaller insects while keeping cool by hiding in the sand. Some moisture farmers use the lizards as an indication of their yield. The huts are present outside the main cities too, and have established compounds all over Tatooine. Depending on your reputation level, you can walk right in or be turned away from Syndicate territory. So your interactions with these locations and the Syndicates within will change throughout the game. Busy place. Kay and Nyx have been thieving together for years, and their incredibly close bond means that they are able to support each other in any situation. Nyx, attack! Hmm? Come on. 
Good job, buddy. Nix, do you sense anyone close? Kay is using a well-worn VM-19 heavy blaster with a unique ability to switch modules. Here, we see Kay use the stun mode to take out this guard instantly and quietly. Easy. All right, let's see what we have here. This is Kay's data spike, which she can use for picking locks. When not in use, she conceals it by wearing it as a hairpin. Wait, Quint, that sheriff from Wayfar used to work for the Huts? I should talk to her. Uh -huh. Oh, come on! <laughs> These enforcer droids are widely used by syndicates as cheap and expendable firepower. They are very dangerous, but Kay can use her blaster's ion module to disrupt them, as we see here. You may recognize these as Massives, a native Tatooine predator with thick armored hides, sharp spines, and a dangerous bite. They were first domesticated by the Tusken, but even the Hut Cartel Beastmasters used them to guard their territory. We need a quick exit. And here we see the iconic Gamorians that were hired by Jabba himself as his most reliable guards. They are incredibly powerful and dangerous, particularly at close range. Here we see Kay switching to her power module to try and take them out before fleeing. Tatooine will feature its iconic twin suns, and you'll be able to witness some beautiful sunrises and sunsets on your journey across the desert planet. Next to the sheriff's office, we see some banthas, which are typically domesticated herd animals used for their milk, meat, leather, and transport. Banthas are omnivores and can sustain energy without food or water for long stretches of time. We see Kay arriving at Wayfar Station, where moisture farmers come to sell water, socialize, and buy equipment. Tatooine is known to be filled with outlaws preying on these farmers, which is why we see a stacked bounty board on the wall to the sheriff's office. Eagle-eyed viewers may even spot Kay's picture on the board. You again. Sheriff Quint is a weak way and former pirate who had a lot of success due to her gunslinger skills. She eventually turned away from her old lifestyle and towards the law, using her skills to help the people of Wayfar. Quint is one of the experts in our game, so Kay can agree to help her out, and in exchange, Quint will help Kay develop her skills with the blaster. You want to die first? Try by me. This is another look at Tushara, the new Savannah Moon created in collaboration between Massive Entertainment and Lucasfilm Games. The strong winds on the moon wear down the naturally occurring amberine. This can create ramps for Kay and Nyx to take advantage of on the speeder. Here we get another glimpse of the lush, dense jungle planet of Akiva, which has been fully realized visually for the first time. Akiva has a very interesting history, and that's something we were excited to explore with Kay and Nyx. Kay grew up brawling in cantinas and sneaking around as a thief, so she can hold her own in combat. We even see her take down a death trooper with an electroshock prod. And here, we see a range of alien species being brought together by Sabak. This includes a Galushan, a Zabrak, and Trandoshan. You'll encounter a range of different species scattered across the Outer Rim. Kay and Nyx are betting on a Fathir race, being broadcast live from her hometown of Cantobite. Nyx loves following the race on the holo projector. These are Aglis flyers, native to Tushara. They have a habit of stealing anything they can get their hands on, hoarding the items in remote nests. The Tusharans use wind fishing nets to capture them for their meat. In addition to Kay's blaster, she'll learn to use some other weapons when she needs some additional firepower, such as this Imperial Z6 rotary blaster cannon. 
And finally, here we see a Rancor, a reptilian species that originally hailed from the planet Dathomir. As fans will know, Rancors are extremely dangerous, so they present quite a threat to someone like Kate. And that's some of the things that you may have missed in our latest gameplay walkthrough. The team is hard at work crafting this galactic scoundrel adventure, and we're excited for players to experience the Outer Rim as Kay and her companion Nyx on August 30th. If you're willing to take the risk, the galaxy is full of opportunity. New record. At the top, where it should be. Let's go, Nix. Hello, everyone. I'm Matthias Carlson, game director at Massive Entertainment. Today, we'll show you a different type of adventure. And as we journey across multiple systems, we will come across many opportunities for a scoundrel. In Star Wars Outlaws, one of your motivations for exploration is to find elusive experts scattered across the galaxy. These experts will help Kay pick up new skills to survive in the underworld. Here, we're looking for a gunslinger who can teach us some new tricks. Our intel points to the Moss Eisley Cantina on Tatooine. So let's head back to our ship. We're picking up in Acra Station. A remnant of the Clone Wars, it used to be a refueling station that now acts as a trade hub for illegal contraband. It's a great place to resupply. Merchants are often affiliated with a syndicate and might offer you a special deal if you're in good standing with them. This kind of business attracts all kinds of shipjackers, contract brokers, and corrupt officials. Need your name cleared from the wanted list. <laughs> your ship, the Trailblazer, is a refined EML 850, the last of its kind. On board, you'll find everything you need to finalize your preparations. Hey, Andy. Hi, Kay. Akiva Space. Each planet has its own system for you to explore, and many opportunities to make a few credits, which you can choose to engage with or not. I am under attack! My ship will not survive long! This is Kay Bess, on board the Trailblazer. I'm coming to help. Turret activated, Kay. One down. to help. And you can tell Gorak he owes k a ship. In space, your actions also have consequences and can impact your reputation with syndicates. This optional dogfight allowed us to improve our reputation with the Pikes while making a few credits. Spooling up the hyperdrive. Now let's continue our journey and head to Tatooine. Base, edge of the galaxy. The tattoo system is in the clutches of the hot cartel. 
Our reputation with them is poor, so we best be on our way. Welcome to legendary Mos Eisley, the infamous hive of scum and villainy. We could head straight to our destination, or explore what the city has to offer. Recreating this iconic city is a dream come true for our team, allowing us to show parts of Mos Eisley you've never seen before. Room for one more? There are many opportunities for a scoundrel, including working your way in with the hot cartel. Most of Tatooine's economy is under their control, even though the increased imperial presence has been hurting their business. But first, we need to pick up the trail of our expert gunslinger. The best place to start is the cantina. By asking around, we learn of a pirate who is deadly with the blaster and who used to work for the hot cartel. Our intel leads to one of their storehouses, located in the southern hills. Traveling to your destination can be an adventure in itself. As you move across scorching dunes and dusty valleys, you'll quickly realize that this lawless desert planet still holds many mysteries. We've reached our destination. We need to locate our storehouse and find our way into this heavily guarded fortress without triggering the alarm. Busy place. There's a data pad or something that can tell me who that old gunslinger is. Sense anyone close? Sutta. Aguatisti. Easy. All right, let's see what we have here. Yes, I got it. Wait, Quint? That sheriff from Wayfar used to work for the huts? I should talk to her. Uh -huh. Oh, come on! We've been spotted, but we now know where to find our gunslinger. Let's get out of here quick. We're in trouble, pal!
again. If you're still looking for Haas, I haven't seen him. Actually, I'm here for you. I heard you're the best shot on the planet. Oh, and you want to be second best. Now is not a good time. The huts are coming and I need to get ready. Get your blaster out. What we have just shown you is the beginning of one of the many adventures you can go on in Star Wars Outlaws. Whether you want to learn new blaster skills, upgrade your speeder, or become an unstoppable thief. Finding an expert is always an adventure in a galaxy full of opportunities.